I'm devastated right now, to be honest. Stance Wars is in about a week and a half, and I'm gonna try to fix it right now, but I don't know how it's gonna go. So if it looks like shit, I'll upload it. I mean, honestly, if it looks good, I'll upload it. If it looks like shit, I'll still upload it. So yeah, I'll show you guys right now what this actually looks like. Guys, oh jeez, I'm not okay with this. Hopefully right now we're gonna fix it. I hope that we can. If not, then after Stance Wars, then I'll almost definitely end up sending him back to RTR or I'll, <laughs> I'll send him back to RTR or I will uh, take him to a repair shop in Kirkland. I called them and asked them and they said it would be around 160 bucks a wheel and then plus tax. So that's not terrible, but as of right now, I'm gonna try to fix it. Cause honestly, nothing can look worse than this. Like nothing can look worse than this. And I already know this for a fact. So I might as well try to fix it myself. All uh, right guys, so uh, currently I uh, grabbed all the stuff that I'm gonna need for this. And I guess since I'm posting this, I guess I'll do kind of a tutorial on how to do this. I'm. But okay, before I start, I am by no means a pro at anything that I'm about to show you. This is the first time that I have ever done anything like this. Only reason I'm doing it is because Stance Wars is right around the corner. And I honestly think that anything other than that will look so much better than what I got going on right now. So you're gonna need some masking tape. Uh, you're gonna be sanding the parts that have the curb rash. So I got sanding respirators call me whatever you want for it but I don't know I value my health so that I got two different shades I got the perfect match this is by Toyota it's like the closest that I could see to my wheels I got this one and I also got this one it's for it's like wheel paint uh, it's, it's a, it looks a little more matte than this one does as you can tell right there so I think I'm gonna roll with this one and then I also uh, gloss clear so then at the end of it we can hit it with a protective layer and it'll be it'll be good because it'll protect it and it'll make it shiny and then so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna need 80 grit sandpaper to take out any big pieces that were taken out of your wheel 80 is usually for the really really big ones and if you do have a lot of big ones there's a lot more steps you have to take like getting a I believe it's like a body filler and some primer and everything along with that but mine are pretty small so I'm just gonna hit it with this really quick just to kind of get out all the dirt and everything and then you gotta hit it with 320 so then it can make the it can make it a lot smoother so it doesn't feel rough to the touch so this is gonna make it smooth while that while the this guy right here the 80 grit is gonna make it uh, more coarse so before you start painting you're gonna want to hit it with this so let me get to Manny's place because we're going to do it at his house and then we'll go from there. So let's do it. Alright guys, so I pull up, right? And I see this guy just chilling here. And uh, so as a lot of you know, Manny ripped off his front lip and splitter. And uh, would you look at this? Oh my goodness. So this front end is completely transformed. So this used to be, as you guys remember, was completely covered. He has these, literally this is one of one. He ordered these from Japan, like what, seven months ago? Seven months ago. He ordered these seven months ago and they finally showed up. He was able to install those on both sides. And then what's the look called, man? It's called a uh, current production MA style front lip. There you go. So that's that front lip. And you got that APR splitter in the front. And dude, this, literally the front end is just gonna completely change up. It's gonna look so good, bro. I'll show you guys a, like a picture or something once it's completely done right now. This is the freaking final of it. Look at that. Looks so good. Man, he still needs to put in his uh, canards, but he had to take out a piece of the bumper where these inserts go. So the holes don't line up anymore. But once he puts that in, his whole front end is complete. And it looks so damn good, man. All right, guys, so assessing the damage here after we cleaned it up from a distance, you know, it's not too bad. Like, I, it looked a lot worse because it was dirty, but really assessing the damage here is just a little bit right there, just all on the rim of, like, the, the outer rim of it as well. And the worst piece is probably this one right here. But the good thing, 
I wouldn't say the good thing, but the, the better thing about this is it's not deep at all. It's literally just the, the top layer or the, um, the powder coat that they put on this. So what me and Manny are thinking is just sand this down till it's smooth and then we're gonna go buy a little brush and then we're gonna go from there. We're just gonna kind of touch it up because I don't think that it's gonna need, if we spray painted it, we'd have to mask off everything so it could literally look exactly the same. And there's no way in hell that we're gonna be able to get it as perfect as they did because it's a powder coat. And this is literally spray paint from like an auto zone. But, so we're gonna do that right now. Welcome valued customer, receive. All right, guys, so now, uh, yeah, Carlos, uh, we're doing this inside right now, and I'm not about to breathe any of this shit in. So we got a little respirator mask bullshit. So, but here's what we're gonna do now. Pretty much all you gotta do. So pretty much, this is, we. I bought 80 and I bought 320, but I think 80 is a bit of overkill. So we're just gonna hit it with the 320 just to smooth it out. But if that doesn't end up working and it still seems pretty rough, then we'll go back. We'll hit it with 80 and then again with 320. So, yeah, guys, pretty much, I'm pretty sure most of you know how to sand. Just don't put too much pressure and put about the same pressure all the way around so it all comes out even. So I'll talk to you guys once I'm all done with that. Pretty much all you want to do is make sure that this all feels smooth, like completely smooth. And then you'll know when you're ready and you're done sanding. I still got a little bit to go, so I'll probably just throw a quick little time lapse for me doing this. Yeah, um, be careful as well, because I, on accident, went a little overkill right there, and I got into the, the piece that was fine, but it's okay, because we're just gonna throw some paint over it either way. But yeah, just to be warned, to be really careful with this shit, because this literally is so abrasive. you're gonna have to do is probably hit it again with a, but I'm gonna hit it with some soapy water. Oh, oh yeah, can't see I'm gonna hit it with some soapy water, and this is literally just like Dawn dish soap and some water. Just hit it on there, make sure that it's all clean, and uh, from there, we'll show you guys what our approach to this is gonna be. All right, guys, so what our approach to this is gonna be is using these little foam like brush things. We're pretty much just gonna spray the spray paint on here, and we're just pretty much gonna you know, lightly kind of coat it pretty much. Manny actually had the fucking idea of this because I was going to spray paint the whole damn thing and call it a day, but... <laughs> no, this, this, I think this will work way, way better because we can be way more precise with everything, so... All right, guys, it's not fully done, but literally, look at this. From a distance, you can't tell anything happened. Where these, uh, where the green tape is, is an indicator of where all the damage was. I still need to do another layer on this one right here. But where the green tape is, is an indicator where all the damage was. And literally, look at this. From a distance, you cannot see anything. It looks really good. Hell yeah. I'm so happy. All right, guys. So literally, this is the final product. Like. Literally, if you look at it, hey, you have to be really close in order to see it. But even if I hold my phone right here and you examine this wheel, dude, it looks so good. Like, even look at that from afar. Like, I'll insert a picture. No, actually, I showed it at the beginning of this video how bad this was. And literally, look at that. It's over. Stance wars, I'm good, I'm still coming, don't even trip. Honestly, for, this is literally, was completely out of the spur of the moment. We were literally like, look, either one of two things, it can't look worse than already it does. So then, we just kind of sent it, and honestly, look at this. You, you literally can't tell. Like, at least in this lighting scenario, you can't tell at all. If I hold a flashlight, even right here, you still can't tell. Like, honestly, it's really crazy to me how like good this worked. And I just saved myself like 160 bucks doing this. 
So honestly guys, if you got some bad curd rash, well not necessarily bad, they might not have like pieces taken out of it, but if you have some curb rash, and you know, you got some sandpaper laying around, a little bit of uh, what we use, use perfect match, they're black and then they're clear coat, a little bit of those sponge brushes, you can literally do exactly what I did at home and save yourself 160 bucks. Literally, of course, I wanna save that money. <laughs> All right, guys, well, we're gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something. And uh, yeah, don't trust everyone because I sent two pictures of this to two different companies telling me that there was no way that I could fix it, that I had to take it to their own shop. And you know what? I just fixed it right now. Maybe it's not fixed for good. Maybe it's not powder coat, but at least it looks good. So we're gonna end it on this one, guys. We'll see you guys next time. Stan Sports is July 12th through 14th. I'm gonna be there, Manny's gonna be there, my friend Hunter's gonna be there, and my cousin Antoine's gonna be there. A whole bunch of us are going down from Ellensburg. So if you guys are up there, shoot me a DM. You guys know where to find me. Like this video, subscribe, comment what you guys think I can do better. If you guys have any questions or anything you guys wanna see, let me know, because I would love to know what you guys wanna see. But all right guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.